China's driving that massive 1938 Bongo Balongo, which, uh, and there's nobody in the trailer. I guess all the Shriners are out running around. Coming up after the Shriners now, coming up next is the, uh, let's see, it's a best Shriner. Ah, the USPS truck. The USPS. What? Oh, okay, the uh, United States Postal Service truck with a reindeer on top. The, the truck is not actually having its motor running. The reindeer is flying while on the truck, pushing it forward. So it's uh, very green now. And that is the truck that carries the large parcels, like anvils, pianos, cinder blocks, and stuff like that. In a few moments, we have a very special vehicle coming up uh, that I'll tell you about as soon as it gets here, because you seem to have another, another gap in the action. So I'll do like finger puppets. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, it's a parade. Oh, really? What's coming up next? Well, let's take a look and see. Okay. And uh, we're still here, aren't we? <laughs> we have a lovely shot of uh, Washington Street here. And uh, let's see what's going on. Someone's coming. I can see someone in the distance. And they are approaching. They are approaching. Here they come. And there they are. Who are they? They're... Is that part of the U.S. Postal Service? Or just people walking their dogs? Well, here comes the uh, the other vehicle I was telling you. Oh, hi, hi, ladies. Make yo, baby. And uh, here's the other vehicle I was telling you about from the post office. As you can see, it's much smaller. This is the vehicle they use to deliver uh, letters under an ounce. They fill this truck up with them and they deliver them. And there it is. And uh, there's some people chasing it, going, "I want my letters. Give me my letters. You didn't deliver to my house. Give me my letters." And, oh, here's a very extra special close-up. The lady has caught up with it, and it's gotten away again, and she still wants her cards back. Okay. Coming up next, as we see down the street, we have the St. Matthew's, yes. St. Matthew's, yes, St. Matthew's Church, as it says right here in front of me, so you can see that. Uh, coming up, blowing their horns, letting everybody know that they have arrived. Uh, the truck is pulling a, a lovely float. with an angel on it, isn't that nice? And uh, Railtown is coming up in just a moment, and here they come. It's Railtown, 1897 from Jamestown. The number three engine, the famous number three movie train, as they call it, is being restored. And uh, we have the train coming down the street right now, the engine. And there's a shot of the engine. It looks a lot bigger when you see it in the movies. They use special effects for that, but they find the engine is easier to maintain when it's only about the size of a standard sofa. Railtown, 1897, a great place to visit. And uh, is that John who, John? Me, John? Another John. Oh, the other John. Yes, that was John riding along. Another John. Yes, I'm going to tell you about you. Quick, blow in, blow in your horn. The Sonoric Historic Chamber likes to get attention by, bl by blowing their horn. Yes, I'm going to talk about you. The historic Sonora Chamber is coming this way. And this is where they ride on the float. And people who wish to make a comment to the chamber, this is their opportunity to run up to the float and say, Hey, what about potholes, man? Hey, what about the roads and stuff? So there are people running up and talking to the chamber and being arrested by the police as they go by. They have a lovely uh, sleigh there, and uh, trees, and kids, and family, and what more can you ask for a Christmas parade? Looks like they have a little fire going there, too. That looks interesting. And Santa at the back. Another lovely shot of uh, downtown Sonora as people cross the street illegally again. And let's uh, give a little history of Sonora. Sonora was founded in um, 1794 by German Viking immigrants who uh, came here um, on rafts look, looking for um, fortune cookies. And they found their fortune cookies, uh, and they also discovered car horns. And they brought car horns to Sonora, which have been used in parades ever since. Remember, these facts are as true as I can make them up. Coming up next, down the road, is is the, oh, the Country Cowboy Church. And let's take a look at them. Uh, Doug, if we can get a close-up of them as they pass by, that would be in 10, ten I gotta wait 10 seconds for a close-up, so I'll speak slowly. 
Here comes the cowboy shark fall. The country cowboy church, and let's get a close up, shall we? And two, one, take it, this, there it is. And there we have some biblical scenes on the float. We have the manger scene. What would a Christmas parade be without the manger scene, courtesy of the Country Cowboy Church? And here is, as you can see, the Jamestown Elementary School Band. We couldn't fit the word elementary there, but it is the Jamestown Elementary School Band. And they're playing some Christmas tune. It appears to be Jingle Bells. Wait. Yes, that is the consensus. It is Jingle Bells. And there they go. And who's coming now, uh, Doug? Camacho's Classic Cruisers. Vintage, beautiful cars, restored to all their glory. And um, uh, there's a 1942 Gibson Lombard. Uh, they didn't make too many of those. It's followed by a lovely uh, Mustang. I recognize that one. A uh, lovely Mustang. And the Mustang is being followed by, uh, let's see, uh, it looks like a 1954 Hanangananga. The Hananga Nanga is one of the few cars that was built with reeds on the side. Yes, that's right off the factory floor right there. And it is followed by a 1948 Bulge Mobile, which uh, had curves where other cars didn't even have anything. Following that looks like a 1932 uh, Craxton Karanga. The Craxton Karanga with the Santa Claus on the uh, hood there. It is a pickup truck, which is good for, as you can see, picking up ladies as you drive along. And the Girl Scouts, here come the Girl Scouts. And yes, there's cookies for all as the Girl Scouts walk along tossing their cookies. No, tossing cookies to the people in the crowd so they can enjoy those wonderful Girl Scout cookies as they collect $3.50 per box for the cookies. And here we have downtown Sonora again. Uh, we know you can't get enough of that. Uh, as you can see, it's a lovely, brisk, cool evening as the Sonora Methodist Church drives into view. And let's view them, shall we? And there they are coming up, and we'll get a shot of the uh, close-up here of the Methodist Church. No, we don't have a close-up of it. We don't have... Doug has dozed off, and we'll be waking him up in just a few moments. In the meantime, this is your chance to cross the street illegally, everybody. Uh, a little more history. Yeah, there we go. A little more history about um, this street. The street was uh, placed in Sonora in 1864 um, because at this point,